Welcome to Tor Cron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to us and press the bell icon. The natural wonders of the world encompass breathtaking and diverse phenomena that showcase the Earth's extraordinary beauty. From the awe-inspiring Northern Lights to the colossal Grand Canyon and the vibrant ecosystems of the Great Barrier Reef, these wonders captivate visitors with their majesty fostering a deep appreciation for our planet's natural marvels. These are our picks for the top 30 natural wonders of the world. Yakushima Island, situated off Kyushu's southern coast within Kagoshima Prefecture, is a subtropical island. It is a circular island known for its extensive cedar forest that contains some of Japan's oldest living trees. Here you will find trees called Yakusugi, whose ages range from as old as a thousand years to seven thousand years. Yakushima Island has a population of about 13,000 people and is known as a primeval temperate rainforest. There is a local saying about Yakushima that it rains 35 days a month. This is because there is some rain almost on a daily basis and in the winter, snow covers many mountains over 1,000 meters high. Yakushima is also known as the Alps on the Ocean and was officially registered as Japan's first World Natural Heritage Site in 1993. You might not know this, but Yakushima is said to have 20,000 monkeys, 20,000 deer and 20,000 people on the island. This is just a saying alluding to the high number of Yaku deer and Yaku monkeys on the island. There are some must visits when it comes to Yakushima. Other key attractions in Yakushima include the breathtaking Wilson Stump for stargazing spectacles and for hiking enthusiasts, Mount Makumo offers a challenging adventure. Salar de Ayuni world's largest salt flat at over 10,000 square kilometers, and it is located in southwest Bolivia. It's considered one of the most extreme and remarkable vistas in all of South America, if not one of Earth's most remarkable. Its origins trace back to a prehistoric lake that eventually evaporated, leaving behind a desert-like landscape of bright white salt. The estimated 10 billion tons of salt within Salar de Ayuni make it visible even from space. Star Wars enthusiasts might recognize this salt flat, as it made an appearance in Star Wars 8 The Last Jedi during the final epic battle scene on the Crate planet. The real treasure of Salar de Ayuni, however, lies under the salt flat. Approximately 70% of the world's lithium reserves can be found there. When extracted, this light metal is responsible for powering laptops, smartphones, and electric cars. Apart from the salt flat, Isla in Kahusi is also another tourist attraction located in the heart of Salar de Ayuni. It is a place covered by a native species of cactus which are hundreds of years old. When you visit here, make sure to spend at least one night in one of the astonishing salt hotels. In these hotels, everything from the beds to the walls and floors is constructed from salt blocks. Pamukkale, a beautiful and unique destination in Turkey, Pamukkale, which means cotton castle in Turkish, is famous for its stunning white terraces formed by the flow of mineral-rich thermal waters cascading down the mountainside. These terraces are a natural wonder that are often compared to cotton or snow, hence the name. The white terraces of Pamukkal are a remarkable sight, particularly when the sunlight reflects off the calcium-rich mineral deposits, creating a surreal landscape. The terraces and surrounding landscape offer excellent opportunities for photography and enjoying the natural beauty of the area. Visitors can wade in the thermal pools formed by the mineral-rich waters, which are believed to have healing properties. The water is warm, and the experience is quite relaxing. Also close to Pamukkale, you can visit the ancient city of Hierapolis, which is well-preserved and offers historical ruins to explore, including theaters, temples, and a necropolis. Pamukkale and Hierapolis are designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites, recognizing their cultural and natural significance. The Dead Sea 
Also known as the Salt Sea, it's a salt lake situated between Israel and Jordan in southwestern Asia. The Jordan River contributes almost all of its water. At an astounding 430 meters below sea level, the Dead Sea holds the distinction of being Earth's lowest point and the most shallow body of water on the planet's surface. Moreover, it is the world's deepest hypersaline lake. The name Dead Sea originates from its lack of living organisms in and around it, primarily due to its exceptionally high salinity, which renders the environment inhospitable for plants and animals. You see, the water of the Dead Sea is rich in salt and minerals, which makes it have a silky and thick consistency that will keep you afloat if you're swimming. During your visit to the Dead Sea, you are not advised to swim for more than 20 minutes because prolonged immersion in such salty water can cause dehydration electrolyte imbalance, and other problems. So when you visit the Dead Sea, you should definitely engage yourself in a fun activity known as Mud Up. This is the process where you cover yourself in the Dead Sea mud for 15 to 30 minutes, bake in the sun during this time, and then wash off the mud in the sea. It is said to have several health benefits and can also improve the condition of your skin. You can also take an adventure into Wadi Mujib Canyon or visit a spa as a way to entertain yourself. Yellowstone National Park The oldest national park in the United States, and it sits on top of a dormant volcano. It's home to more geysers and hot springs than any other place on Earth. It was established in 1872 and is located primarily in Wyoming. Yellowstone National Park receives millions of visitors annually, looking to be wowed by the wonders of it. The park is suitable for both adults and kids as there is a lot to see and do. Occupying over 2.2 million acres of land, Yellowstone National Park is larger than Rhode Island and Delaware combined, and its lake is the largest high-altitude lake in North America. The wildlife in the national park is diverse, with different mammals such as bison, moose, elk, pronghorn, bear, and many more. There's also over 300 species of birds, 16 species of fish, and there's also the gray wolf. Yellowstone National Park also houses over 1,000 species of native plants and 200 species of exotic plants. There are over 290 waterfalls and 12 campgrounds also. When you visit Yellowstone, you must visit the Grand Prismatic Spring. It's a colorful spring, and it's also the largest hot spring in the United States and the third largest in the world. The wonder of this colorful spring cannot be fully described through words. You just have to see it for yourself. If you're visiting with kids, you can catch a rainbow in the Grand Canyon, participate in free ranger-led programs, while teenagers can enjoy horse riding or zip lining. Family hikes are also a great option. Other attractions to visit include the iconic Old Faithful Geyser in Yellowstone and the wildlife-rich Lamar Valley. The Giant's Causeway Located at the base of basalt cliffs in County Antrim on the north coast of Northern Ireland, it is a natural rock formation that looks like it was actually fashioned by giants. It's an epic sight of about 40,000 hexagonal-shaped stepping stones descended gently into the sea, and they date back to an underwater volcano of almost 60 million years ago. Legend has it that the Giant's Causeway derived its name from an Irish giant, Finn McCool, who purportedly constructed a causeway to confront his rival across the Irish Sea. In addition to the scientific explanations for this location, a plethora of myths and tales are intertwined with its history. Humans haven't resided at the Giant's Causeway since the 1800s, but it attracts around 300,000 visitors annually. The Giant's Causeway is so enchanting that the Irish locals and even foreigners refer to it as the eighth wonder of the world. When you visit the Giant's Causeway, you may explore locations featured in the TV series Game of Thrones. Zhang Zhi Zhi Zhang Zhi Zhi is a city, region, and national park located in central China. It can be found about 1,000 kilometers from Hong Kong. This location is known for its unique tourist sites such as strange-shaped pillars, hidden valleys, seas of clouds, and limestone caves. If you are impressed by the Hallelujah Mountains in Avatar, a visit to witness their real-life counterparts is a must. There are 243 peaks and more than 3,000 pinnacles and spires in the national park. 
Due to its unique sandstone peak forest formations, karst caves, and water features, Zhang Zhizhi attained the prestigious status of China's inaugural UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. In 1982, Zhang Zhizhi National Forest Park became China's first national forest park, showcasing the iconic rocky tower formations of Zhang Zhizhi. Here you'll find Beilong Elevator, which is a great glass elevator, and it's also the largest and tallest outdoor elevator in the world. Although it would take a long queue, the elevator provides quick access to Hallelujah Mountain. Another must-visit is the Zhang Zhizhi Glass Bridge, which is the longest and highest glass-bottom bridge in the world. Other tourist attractions include Baofeng Lake, where you will find majestic waterfalls, the Yellow Dragon Cave, which is praised as the most beautiful cave in the world, and Tiananmen Mountain, which offers breathtaking photo opportunities. Paracutan a cinder cone volcano located in the Mexican state of Micucan, which is near the city of Yurapan and about 322 kilometers west of Mexico City. Paracutan was named one of the seven natural wonders of the world as an active volcano. The volcano unexpectedly emerged from a cornfield belonging to Dionisio Poludo, a local farmer in 1943, captivating both the general public and the scientific community. The Paracutan volcano erupted for nine years, during which it was actively studied by scientists. Following its last eruption in 1952, the volcano has remained dormant, solidifying its status as a natural wonder because mankind witnessed its birth. It's also the youngest volcano in the world. For an unforgettable experience, a visit to the church in the town of San Juan Paragurastutro is highly recommended, a prominent pilgrimage site for devoted individuals. This church stands as the sole remaining structure after a lava flow decimated the entire town. Even if you're not a devout individual, paying a visit to offer flowers and candles at the weathered altar is a touching gesture. It's also a great site for photographs. You can get to the Paracutan Volcano by hiking or horse riding from Angahauen. The best time to visit this natural wonder is between January to April, when the rainfall is low and the temperature ranges between 15 and 20 degrees. Lake Hillier A saline lake in Australia on the edge of Middle Island, it is particularly notable for its paint color. This stunning saltwater lake is about 600 meters long and 250 meters wide, and it is surrounded by sand and dense vegetation made up of mostly eucalyptus trees. The pink lake water is separated from the blue water of the Pacific Ocean with just a single thin strip of earth, which is covered with Melaleuca, a popular plant in Australia. Till today, nobody can really explain why the lake is colored pale pink, although there are many theories by scientists. The color of the water never changes even when temperatures and other factors change, and even if you put it in a bottle, the color is the same. Although the water is safe to swim in and not harmful to people's skin, the island has been closed for further research, so you can't visit it. If you do want to see Lake Hillier, taking to the skies is your best bet. There are scenic helicopter flights that operate daily between October and April because the temperature and weather is suitable during this time. Lin Kwa Maranhensis National Park. This is a national park located in Maranhão State in northeastern Brazil. It is a protected area in Brazil that has about 70 kilometers of coastline and an interior that contains rolling sand dunes. During the rainy season, the valleys among the dunes fill with freshwater lagoons. Lagoa Azul and Lagoa Bonita are two of the largest lagoons. In the park, you'll find a range of species, including four endangered ones. The best time to visit Lin Kwa is from June to September because the lagoons are full during this time. The Lin Kwa Maranhensis National Park is described as a paradise for trekkers and photographers. To see the lagoons in their entirety, you should take a flight over Lin Kwa Maranhensis. You can also go on quad tours to explore the off-the-beaten-path lagoons in the area and also get some amazing views of the dunes. 
Matterhorn A mountain of the Alps and it straddles the main watershed and border between Switzerland and Italy. Translating to peak in the meadows, Matterhorn Mountain is known as the epitome of mountains and is perfect for adventurers looking for a mythical climb. The mountain is shaped like a jagged tooth, and this unique shape attracts plenty of tourists. Each face of the mountain's peak points toward one of the cardinal directions, and geologists have determined that due to how it was formed, the mountain can technically be considered African. Surprisingly, the first attempt to climb the mountain ended in tragedy, with seven individuals attempting the climb in July 14, 1865, resulting in four fatalities. Since that fateful day, approximately 500 people have died while trying to climb the mountain. At the pinnacle, a metal cross serves as a poignant memorial for those who met their fate on the mountain. Needless to say, the mountain is very difficult to climb and can only be achieved by expert mountaineers with excellent equipment and a competent guide. At the base of the mountain, you will find the world's largest snow igloo, and it has an interior diameter of 42 feet and a height of 34 feet. Igloo Dorf, which is carved out of snow and ice, has more than six individual igloos or hotel rooms that are interconnected by a series of tunnels and also a bar and a restaurant. The ski slopes at Matterhorn Glacier Paradise are open every day of the year, so if that's something you're interested in, you can definitely do it whenever you visit. There are other activities to do around such as ice hockey and hiking. Angel Falls The world's highest continuous waterfall lies deep in the heart of Venezuela's Canema National Park. It offers a spectacular symbol of nature's strength and beauty and streams through Oyan Tepu Mountain, peaking at 3,212 feet or 979 meters. The fact that this amazing place must be accessed by flight or a multi-day journey through a thick forest adds to its aura. On riverboat tours, tourists sail along the Churn River, crossing emerald green waters surrounded by thick forest and towering cliffs. The natural surroundings give nature enthusiasts a memorable experience, since the place is rich with various flora and fauna. The distant roar of the water's flow gets louder as you go near where it falls, creating an exciting environment. Angel Falls is an attractive stream of water quietly flowing from the top mountain above, appears as if from heaven. It is covered in mist and surrounded by a vibrant tropical vegetation. The Pemon tribe residents living there refer to Angel Falls as Karapakupai Mur. Jimmy Angel, a pilot from the USA who popularized the waterfall in the 20th century, has been honored by the name Angel Falls. Explorers, photographers, and fans of nature worldwide keep flocking to this natural wonder because it allows them to see nature's untamed, pure beauty in one of the most isolated and appealing areas on the planet. The Great Belize Blue Hole A magnificent underwater sinkhole found in the Caribbean Sea off the shores of Belize. It is a perfect circle, having a diameter of approximately 1,000 feet or 305 meters and a depth of about 410 feet or 125 meters. Its attractive coral seas create an outstanding visual spectacle compared to the nearby deeper ocean depths. As the ocean levels rise, the underneath cavern systems overflowed and gave way, leaving behind this incredible underwater sinkhole. Adventurers and scientists regularly visit this marvel due to its sparkling waters, which reveal wonderful stalagmites and stalactite structures. Soaring into the Great Blue Hole is like exploring an amazing underwater location. The adventure is exciting and humbling simultaneously as it creates an unusual door into the ancient geology of the Earth and the majestic beauty of the undersea surroundings. Researchers from around the world tour Belize's Great Blue Hole, a World Heritage Site recognized by UNESCO. It continues to be an essential destination for anybody seeking adventure, stunning beauty, and an in-depth link to the wonders of our planet's history due to its intriguing beauty and historic significance. The Galapagos Islands 
The Galapagos Islands are an archipelago in the Pacific Ocean that lies approximately 600 miles off the Ecuadorian coast. They are an ideal destination for outdoor enthusiasts and explorers, and an everyday testimony to the miraculous events of evolution. 18 major islands and multiple outliers make up these isolated and untouched islands. Each island possesses a unique ecosystem, which essentially gave Charles Darwin a framework for his revolutionary concept of natural selection. The Galapagos Islands are renowned for being incredible habitats for many unique creatures. Giant tortoises, marine iguanas, blue-footed boobies, the Galapagos penguins also represent some of the most remarkable fauna that tourists come to witness. These islands constitute a naturalist paradise due to such brave and sometimes intriguing animals that make it possible for intimate nature encounters. From verdant highlands to barren rocky landscapes, every island in the Galapagos archipelago offers its own distinct atmosphere and biology. The beautiful landscapes of the land, consisting of remarkable rock structures, massive erupting volcanoes, and underdeveloped shores, is testimony to their volcanic history. The islands of the Galapagos Islands are named a national park and a World Heritage Site by UNESCO maintaining fragile ecosystems as they preserve the splendor of their natural environment. A visit to the Galapagos is an unforgettable one that leaves a durable mark on anybody who goes to these small islands, whether diving with sea lions, ascending into volcanic craters, or watching endangered bird species. Danakil Depression Often called the cruelest place on Earth, it is an amazingly simple feature in northern Ethiopia. Its acute and harsh conditions make this vast area one of the most challenging but intriguing locations to make trips to for adventurous explorers and scientists. The Depression, a geographical anomaly in the East African Rift System, is a habitat to volcanoes, lava lakes, saline units, and geothermal power plants. This region's continuous shift in plates of tectonics resulted in extraordinary atmospheric conditions that are unchallenged in any other location on Earth. The Erta Ale Volcano, home to one of the few continually active lava lakes in the world, is one of the most recognizable characteristics of the Donnick Hill Depression. It is awe-inspiring and slightly weird to hike to the edge of Erta Ale and see the molten lava swirling below. The Dalol Hydrothermal Area, famous for its vibrant and mineral-rich hot springs, acid pools, and geysers, is another notable feature of the Donakil Depression. These geothermal features vivid colors, which range from brilliant yellows and greens to flaming reds and oranges, stand out starkly and almost inhumanly against their arid surroundings. The Dionic Hill Depression's harsh environment is characterized by scorching temperatures that often exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius, as well as minimal rainfall and a barren, salt-crusted landscape. Visiting the Dionic Hill Depression is not for the faint-hearted. Travelers must endure extreme heat, rugged terrain, and a lack of amenities. Nonetheless, the incredibly appealing geological wonders here keep attracting explorers and scientists who aspire to find the hidden mysteries of this remarkable and harsh landscape. A journey to the Donnick Hill Depression is a true voyage to the edge of the Earth, where nature's forces are on full display in all their raw and uncompromising glory. Perito Moreno Glacier the Perito Marino Glacier is a breathtaking natural wonder nestled in the heart of Argentina's Patagonia region. This colossal glacier, located within the confines of the Los Glacieres National Park, is renowned for its stunning beauty and unique behavior that sets it apart from many other glaciers worldwide. Stretching over an impressive 250 square kilometers and boasting an average thickness of 170 meters, the Perito Marino Glacier is a majestic ice formation that captivates all who can witness it. What makes this glacier exceptional is its cyclical pattern of advance and retreat. 
Unlike the majority of glaciers which are receding due to the effects of climate change, Perito Marino undergoes a periodic process of movement. Every few years, it extends far enough to block the Brazo Rico, a narrow channel that separates it from Lake Argentino. The pressure mounts within the channel as the glacier advances, creating an awe-inspiring spectacle. This phenomenon culminates in a dramatic rupture event, where a section of the glacier collapses into the lake with a thunderous roar, sending towering ice chunks crashing into the water below. Tourists flock to the Perito Marino Glacier year-round to witness this extraordinary display of nature. Visitors can explore a network of walkways and viewing platforms that offer panoramic vistas of the glacier, or they can embark on boat tours to get a closer look at the towering ice wall. For the adventurous, ice trekking excursions allow them to walk on the glacier's surface, an experience that provides a profound connection to the glacier's majesty. Beyond its tourist appeal, the Perito Marino Glacier is vital in scientific research. Due to its distinctive cyclical behavior, it offers valuable insights into glaciology and climate change. Banff National Park, located in the heart of the Canadian Rockies in Alberta, is a pristine wilderness area that captivates visitors with its breathtaking natural beauty and diverse ecosystems. This national park, covering approximately 6,641 square kilometers, is the oldest in Canada and one of the most renowned and cherished in the world. Towering mountain peaks, including the iconic Mount Rundle and Mount Cascade, provide a dramatic backdrop for pristine alpine lakes, dense forests, and rugged valleys. The turquoise waters of Lake Louise and Moraine Lake are particularly famous for their stunning beauty, surrounded by glaciers and rugged peaks. Wildlife also thrives within the park's boundaries, allowing visitors to encounter iconic Canadian animals. Among the notable residents are grizzly bears, black bears, elk, moose, mountain goats, and wolves. Recreation options are abundant throughout the year. In the summer, hiking trails wind through alpine meadows and crystal clear streams. The park's well-maintained campgrounds provide a rustic experience for those who want to immerse themselves in the wilderness. Banff becomes a haven for snow sports enthusiasts in winter, offering world-class skiing, snowboarding, and snowshoeing opportunities. Moreover, the town of Banff itself is a charming mountain resort community nestled within the park. It features cozy accommodations, restaurants, and shops. With their relaxing warm mineral waters, the Banff Upper Hot Springs offer a soothing way to unwind while gazing at the surrounding mountains. Banff National Park's commitment to conservation is evident in its efforts to protect its unique ecosystems and minimize the impact of human activity. It's a shining example of how natural beauty and ecological integrity can be preserved for future generations. Whether you're seeking adventure, solace in nature, or simply an opportunity to be awed by majestic landscapes, Banff National Park has something remarkable to offer every visitor. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is a world-renowned natural landmark located in the heart of Australia's Red Center within the Uluru Kata Juta National Park in the Northern Territory. It is a sacred and culturally significant site for the indigenous Anangu people, and it holds a special place in the hearts of Australians and travelers worldwide. The closest large town is Alice Springs, and it's located around 335 kilometers or 208 miles southwest of Uluru in the southern portion of the Northern Territory. It rises abruptly from the flat desert terrain as a lone sandstone rock. This geological marvel stretches 9.4 kilometers or 5.8 miles in a circle and rises 348 meters or 1,142 feet above the desert plain. Iron presence in the rock is what gives it its unique red hue. The indigenous Anangu people who have been residing in this area for tens of thousands of years hold Uluru in a high regard culturally. It serves as a focal point for their creation myths and religious beliefs, serving as a tangible link to their ancestry. Uluru is a popular tourist destination and welcomes travelers worldwide. 
travelers can connect with Uluru's great beauty and cultural significance through these encounters. Kata Juta, the Olgas, a second collection of sizable sandstone domes, is close to Uluru and located in the same national park. Both spectacular and significant to the Anangu people's culture is Kata Juta. Between the domes, hiking routes wind, providing a singular viewpoint of the desert environment and its spiritual significance. Uluru and Kata Juta are included in the national park to conserve the region's ecological and cultural features. Table Mountain In South Africa's capital, Cape Town, an appealing geological beauty named Table Mountain covers the landscape and acts as the city's distinct symbol. Its distinct flat-top plateau, which peaks at 1,086 meters or 3,563 feet above sea level, gave it the name Table Mountain. The amazing piece of earth science, which evolved over millions of years by the erosion and uplift of sandstone rock layers, towers over Cape Town and provides amazing views of the city and its surroundings. Being an area of high biodiversity is one of Table Mountain's unique features. The rugged terrain is home to various plants, many of which are rare on Earth. It lies within the Cape Floristic Region, a World Heritage Site recognized by UNESCO. The regional heath-like plants, as well as the other plant species, enhance the slopes. The mountain's ecological significance increases by diverse fauna, including rocks, reptiles, and bird species. The Table Mountain Aerial Cableway, a cable vehicle system that offers tourists a beautiful trip to the highest point, enhances Table Mountain's access. The mountain provides a network of trekking pathways that are accessible to tourists of all experience levels for those who desire a wild trip. The most popular trail, Platte Clip Gorge, guides trekkers on a tough trek to the summit and rewards them with unique scenery. The amazing view of Cape Town, the uncontrolled coastline, and the vast Atlantic Ocean may be had at the peak of Table Mountain. Views of the sunset and sunrise from the viewpoint are very attractive and attract tourists and photographers to capture the magical moments. Antarctica The southernmost continent in the world and is home to unique geographical features and scientific attractions. Extensive ice sheets that cover the landmass make the place the coldest, windiest, and driest continent. The ice sheets hold a huge supply of fresh water, important to the Earth's climate system. Sadly, these sheets have melted due to increased temperatures, which have increased the sea level globally. The climate experienced on the continent is not favorable, with winter temperatures dropping extremely low and strong winds sweeping across frozen plains. Nevertheless, Antarctica is home to various fauna adapted to harsh environments. Emperor penguins, a popular penguin species, stroll across the frozen landscape. Leopard and Weddell seals grow well in the icy waters, while albatrosses and other seabirds fly above the frozen skies. The surrounding ocean is filled with marine life, with krill playing an essential role in the vast food chain. The continent has served as a center for scientific research for many years since it is covered in research facilities run by different nations where research projects are done. Antarctica has increased in prominence over the recent few decades for extreme tourists. Cruises are chosen by those who wish to witness the continent's amazing vistas, charismatic wildlife, and awe-inspiring separation in these untamed surroundings. The Antarctic Treaty System, established in 1959, governs the management of Antarctica. The continent has been allocated for specific purposes, scientific collaboration, and safeguarding the environment. It forbids military operations and exploitation of mineral resources to preserve this special environment. Such efforts highlight Antarctica's significance to humanity and must be protected at all costs. Iguazu Falls in 1876, engineer Andre Rebeckus spearheaded a campaign to preserve the magnificent Iguazu Falls, which became the first Brazilian national park. With falls on both sides of the Iguazu River between Brazil and Argentina, it's made up of many water cascades that form the largest waterfall system in the world. 
placing it in the seven natural wonders of the world. Taking its name from the Guarani language, Iguazu literally means big water. The four largest falls are named San Martin, Adam and Eve, Pannoni, and Bergano. The Iguazu River flows into the Garganta del Diablo, or the Devil's Throat, a canyon 300 feet wide and 260 feet deep, that holds the largest of the falls. To the left of the canyon lie 160 to 200 separate falls that merge during the flood stages. On the right bank, 20% of the falls are in Brazilian territory and 80% in Argentina on the left. Both countries claim an Iguazu National Park, and both are designed as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Amazon Rainforest Covering an area of approximately 2.5 million miles, about the size of the 48 contiguous United States, the Amazon rainforest claims land in the South American countries of Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, French Guiana, Guyana, Peru, Suriname, and Venezuela. With an estimated 390 billion trees and the world's largest rainforest is home to 427 mammal species, 1,300 bird species, 378 reptile species, 2.5 million insect species, and more than 400 species of amphibians. Besides all that wildlife in the rainforest, there are approximately 400 tribes of indigenous people living in villages along the river or isolated deep in the forest. With the outside world constantly invading their space, many tribes have become nomadic to avoid contact with other people. Although there are thousands of rivers throughout the rainforest, the largest is the Amazon, which winds through South America for 3,977 miles, from the Andes Mountains eastward to the Atlantic Ocean. But that wasn't always so. Millions of years ago, the river did an about-face and turned from a westward route. Scientists believe the geological change was caused by the reversing flow of hot, vicious rock layers deep beneath the continent. The Manu National Park in the Peruvian Amazon has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site and offers a unique vacation opportunity. For amazing views of the land and wildlife, there are two national parks. Observe caimans, anacondas, dolphins, macaws, and parrots at Yasuni National Park and Biosphere Reserve in Ecuador. The Madidi National Park in Bolivia is a top tourist attraction where visitors may interact with wildlife and indigenous people. Serengeti Migration Witness Africa's race for life as two million wildebeest journey 800 miles through the Serengeti to the Maasai Mara in Kenya and back in the largest mammal migration on Earth called the Great Migration. The cycle begins in the southern region during the January to March wet season, as half a million calves are born. Following this mass birthing, the enormous herd moves clockwise to the western corridor in time for the greening of the plains there. As the western plains dry up, the wildebeest move to the north and stay until the south becomes green once again during the short rains of October. By December, the herds finish the cycle in central Serengeti, where they once again settle until the calves are born. The journey is rife with danger, as wildebeest lead the way for groups of Thompson's gazelle, Grant's gazelle, eland, and zebra. Each river crossing thins the herd as crocodiles take advantage of the young and slowest among them. Lion prides lay in wait to take down as many as they can catch. The Grumeti River is but the first hurdle. The Mara River crossing to the north is a popular sightseeing location among photographers. The Serengeti National Park welcomes thousands of visitors each year as tourists flock to the calving ground in Nadutu between December and April to witness the start of the migration. The most spectacular part of the cycle occurs between May and July as more than a million animals march in a column up to 40 kilometers long. Ha Long Bay Thousands of limestone islands topped with many rainforests rise above the serene emerald waters of Ha Long Bay in the province of Quang Ninh, located in the northeast region of Vietnam. 
The 2000 islands and islets were formed millions of years ago, and the larger ones are named for their shapes, such as stone dog and teapot isles. As part of Kat Ba National Park, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a popular vacation spot for scuba diving, rock climbing, hiking, and spelunking in the numerous caves, drawing close to 3 million visitors each year. This beautiful setting has been featured in the movies Tomorrow Never Dies from 1997, Pan from 2015, and Kong, Skull Island from 2017. Covering an area of 1,553 kilometers with a 120 kilometer coastline, the bay is surprisingly shallow. The deepest point is only 33 feet. The water is home to more than 450 species of mollusk and 200 types of fish. Hawks, sea eagles, monkeys, antelopes, lizards, and frogs can also be seen. While most of the islands are uninhabited, approximately 1,600 people live in four floating fishing villages. Kua Van, Ba Hang, Kong Tao, and Vung Vieng. Ha Long Tourism Week, held each spring, features the Ha Long Carnival, which celebrates the unique culture of the Vietnamese that call the bay home. Milford Sound. Not many places on Earth are better to visit when it rains, but Milford Sound in Fiordland on New Zealand's South Island in the Tasman Sea becomes breathtakingly beautiful in inclement weather. Known as one of the wettest areas of New Zealand, it rains 182 days of the year. The temperature ranges from 41 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter to 64 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Sterling and Bowen Falls cascade down from Mitra Park as the mist hovers above the water littered with native black coral. The name is misleading as the coral is actually white with colorful sponges. Corals and snake stars nested among it. Upon its death, the coral becomes black, with trees 5 meters high visible on the shallow depth of 10 meters. At Milford Discovery Center and Underwater Observatory, tourists may see fur seal colonies, penguins, dolphins, and other marine life. The sound is accessible from Queenstown and Te Anau. Covering 10 square miles, its deepest point measures only 955 feet. Author Rudyard Kipling referred to Milford Sound as the eighth wonder of the world because of its wondrous beauty. Mount Everest. Straddling the Tibet-Nepal border in the Mahalongar Himal sub-range of the Himalayas, Earth's tallest mountain stands as a beacon to adventure seekers. Since Edmund Hillary and Tibetan guide Ten Zing Norgay ascended the peak of Mount Everest at 29,032 feet altitude in 1953, 322 climbers have died trying to achieve that same goal. Long before Hillary and Norgay stood at the peak, British surveyors in 1856 named Everest the tallest peak in the world in their great trigonometrical survey of the Indian subcontinent. Named after George Everest, a former surveyor general of India, Tibetans call the mountain Chomu Lungma, which means the mother goddess of the world. While several indigenous groups live at the base of the mountain, the Sherpa people are more widely known due to their use as guides among climbers. Their knowledge, skill, and ability to thrive in a high-altitude, low-oxygen region make them indispensable to those wishing to reach the pinnacle safely. But even with the help of Sherpas, climbers must have proven mountaineering experience and a certificate of good health. Those that reach the 26,000-foot elevation area known as the death zone must use bottled oxygen to avoid altitude sickness and deadly brain swelling. The path upward is littered with the frozen corpses of those who will never conquer the peak. George Mallory, a British mountaineer, attempted the climb three times, but died just 800 vertical feet from the peak on the northeast ridge in 1924. His body was found 75 years later in 1999. Whether he finally reached the top and was climbing back down is a matter of speculation. For climbers that make it to the top, the reward is said to be well worth that danger. 
When a reporter asked Mallory why he wanted to climb Mount Everest, he simply replied, because it's there. Victoria Falls. The most iconic natural attraction in the world, it's located on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe in southern Africa. The falls are known for their stunning beauty, with a massive curtain of water plunging into a deep gorge. Visiting Victoria Falls can be a breathtaking experience, and it offers opportunities for activities like hiking, wildlife viewing, and adventure sports. The best time to visit Victoria Falls is from May to October when the water flow is lower and the falls are more easily visible due to less spray. However, from November to April, the falls are at their fullest, creating a spectacular display of cascading water, but the mist and spray can obstruct the view. There are two sides to see this magnificent waterfall. One is the Zambian side in the Livingstone and second is the Zimbabwean side in Victoria Falls town. Both sides have unique perspectives of the falls, and it's common for visitors to explore both. Overall, if you appreciate natural wonders and enjoy outdoor activities, visiting Victoria Falls can be an incredible and memorable experience. Great Barrier Reefs just off the east coast of Queensland, Australia, lies the most complex natural ecosystem in the world. From the shallows to the deep ocean, the Great Barrier Reef covers 134,634 square miles and consists of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands. 10% of the world's fish species, more than 1,500, make their home in the reef, along with six turtle species, 215 bird species, 17 sea snake species, 400 types of coral and 4,000 types of mollusks. Photos taken of Earth from space clearly show the Great Barrier Reef. The reef offers amazing scuba and snorkeling experiences. As swimmers weave through the intricate coral formations to catch a glimpse of marine life not seen anywhere else on Earth. The sea turtles and crocodiles found there have changed little since prehistoric times. Several aboriginal tribes and Torres Strait Island peoples still practice traditional and cultural maritime activities outlined in the traditional use of marine resource agreements and indigenous land use agreements. These agreements allow them to preserve their way of life and teach new generations, thereby maintaining their population. Queensland manages the Great Barrier Reef Coast Marine Park per the UNESCO World Heritage Site Guidelines. The city of Cairns in tropical North Queensland is considered the gateway to the reef. Over 2 million visitors each year vacation on the stretch of over 1,430 miles of coastline. A popular tourist attraction is the Cod Hole near Lizard Island. Natural phenomena include migrating whales, nesting turtles, and annual coral spawning. The Grand Canyon Naturally formed over millions of years, the Grand Canyon stretches 10 miles wide, 1 mile deep, and 277 miles long, winding through Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. Millions of tourists from all over the world visit the canyon yearly to marvel at the wondrous multicolored layers of red rock that tell the geographical history of the site. The canyon holds a place of importance to the indigenous peoples of the southwest United States. A total of 11 federally recognized tribes are associated with the land that now encompasses Grand Canyon National Park. The Hopi tribe considers the Grand Canyon to be the gateway to the afterlife. Legend says that when a person dies, they pass westward through the place of emergence, just upstream from the joining of the Colorado and Little Colorado Rivers on their way to the afterlife. This UNESCO World Heritage Site may be the most famous canyon on Earth, but it's not actually the deepest. Both the Kota Hausi Canyon in Peru and the Kali Gandaki Gorge in Nepal are deeper. There are no paved roads inside the canyon and a drive from the North Rim Visitor Center to the South Rim Visitor Center is about 200 miles and takes about four hours. Recent studies show that the erosion process that resulted in the canyon may have started 70 million years ago. The Colorado River runs the entire length of the canyon, and it's thought that the river flow actually began the process. 
At 1,904 square miles, the canyon is bigger than the entire state of Rhode Island. Within that space, the temperature can vary by more than 25 degrees. The deepest point of the gorge is notoriously hot in the summer, while the North Rim gets below freezing in the winter. With an elevation of 7,000 feet above sea level, the South Rim has the cleanest air in all of the United States. There are 335 recorded caves in the canyon, but only one is open to the public. It's thought there is a total of 1,000 caves, about 700 of which have yet to be recorded. Many of the caves house indigenous tribes for many centuries. The canyon wildlife is a long and diverse list, from pong, horn, sheep, bison, elk, mule deer, javelina, coyote, fox, cougar, mountain lion, bobcat, lynx, skunk, river otter, raccoon, black bear, beaver, rabbit, several species of bat, squirrel and mice, porcupine, gopher, prairie dogs, chipmunks, wild donkey, gila monsters, and a wolf. There are six types of rattlesnakes, and one of them is pink. It's surprising that the most dangerous of these is the rock squirrel, who has inflicted the most bites on tourists. Since President Woodrow Wilson made the Grand Canyon a national park in 1919, several lodges and hotels have been built to accommodate tourists that are there to hike, join a trail ride on a mule or horseback, take a jeep tour, kayak, float the river, or simply to take in the splendor from the many vantage points dotting the rim. The Aurora Borealis Most active during the spring equinox and autumnal solstice, colorful dancing waves of light in the northern skies have captivated Earth's inhabitants since time began. In 1619, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei gave them the name the Aurora Borealis after the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek god of the north wind, Boreas. The graceful beams of light are violently formed when energized particles from the sun slam into the Earth's upper atmosphere and are diverted by the planet's magnetic field, which redirects them to the north and south poles. Those southern lights are called Aurora Australis. As early as 567 BC, a royal astronomer in Babylon inscribed the phenomenon on a tablet. A Chinese report from 193 BC also mentions the Aurora. The earliest record of the Northern Lights is a 30,000-year-old cave painting in France. Before science explained the origin of the mysterious celestial dancing lights, plenty of myths and legends abounded in northern populations. The North American Inuit tribes believed it was caused by spirits playing ball with a walrus's head. Vikings said it was light reflecting off the armor of the Valkyrie. It wasn't until the 20th century that Norwegian scientist Christian Birkeland explained the atmospheric lights. His hypothesis wasn't proven until after his death in 1917. The northern lights are at their best every 11 years during the peak activity period called the solar maximum. The last one occurred in 2014 and the next one will take place in 2025. For the best views of this light show, locations closer to the North Pole with no artificial ground lights in the area are ideal. In the United States, Fairbanks, Alaska and Glacier National Park in Montana are two of the best places to lay back and watch the show, as well as other points from Washington to Wisconsin. Other ideal places to see nature's version of an IMAX movie are Abisko National Park in Sweden. Flakstodoi in Norway, Fort Nelson, British Columbia, and Grota, Iceland. So which natural wonder did you like the most? Tell us in the comment section below and also let us know where are you watching this video from.